welcome viewers to the fourth episode out of 12 episode in this series where we are looking at the November 2022 mathematics paper 2 so we are looking at each of the 12 question extensively so the first three episode covered question 1 2 and 3 so in this episode let us move straight to question 4 question 4a start the flow chart below then we have start then enter s r then n then is s less than zero if yes print error s must be positive then if s is greater than zero then we basically proceed to calculating the value of d using this a function then afterward we display d then we stop the code in the question write a pseudocode corresponding to the flow chart above so we need to our first thing is start so we are going to have start here then we need to indent or do a tab so a tab will give us enter somewhere we we'll put enter here so what are we entering so we are entering uh, basically these values which is s r then n we are entering them that, like that then we need to do a conditional uh, test then if so if s is less than zero then what do we do then print error s must be positive that's what need to be done so remember here we do the first indenting then we do the second these are on the same line that's what you need to observe then else okay then else so after we enter then then else else that is if basically s is not less than zero what do we do calculate the value of d so which is s multiplied by the star r then multiply by star then n over 100 then next what do we do is we do display so we display d then we close the code which is stop so what is key here is notice the in what is happening these are in the same line so we do the first tab we are indenting then we come here then these should be in the line with enter then we close the loop so it's these spacing that are very critical when you are doing that so once you do that you get the 5v max let us look at question 4b the box contains identical cards and on each card a letter of the english alphabet is printed a card is selected at random from the box and not repressed and a second card is then selected find the probability that the two cards selected loma numeral one are vowels printed then Loma numeral 2, one as a vowel and the other a consonant printed. So what we need to do is we need to look at the facts. So what we know is basically we have a box of identical cards. So meaning we can't tell which one is which one they look just the same. Then we have on each card a letter of the English alphabet is printed. Then a card is selected at random from the box, then not replaced. Then a second card is selected. Then the question is find the probability that um, two cards selected are vowels printed, then Loma number two as a vowel and the other a consonant printed. So you notice in this case is on the English alphabet, you notice that we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, then X, Y, Z. So these, when you count them, there are 26. 
And out of these 26, basically what you notice is we have vowels as A, then E, I, O, U. Then these are basically the number of vowels. They are basically 5. Then a 5 from 26, then we're going to remain with here, are the number of consonants are equal to uh, 21. So 21 are consonants. So given that uh, we have these facts, so we need to present this information on the uh, tree diagram to make it easier for you to follow. So remember, we are selecting the first card from this. So now, if you go to uh, the new page, then we're going to start from here. Then we have two possibilities. We can either select a vowel or a consonant. Now, how many vowels are in this alphabet? So we have five vowels out of how many? 26 letters. So there are five chances out of 26 that we get a vowel. Then how many consonants? There are basically 21 out of how many? 26. So every time we pick a card there, 21 out of 26 chances that we pick a consonant. That's the first selection. Then we go to the second selection. We can pick a vowel, so this is one, then this is two, then you can also pick a consonant. Because we picked a card and we did not replace it, then this tells us, in the first case we picked a vowel, if you picked a vowel, it means we remain with how many vowels? There were five, we take out one, but we don't replace it, so we remain with four. Out of how many cards? Now, because there are 26, they are less by one, so they are now 25. So it's out of 25. Then, secondly, uh, because we picked a vowel and we did not pick a consonant, that's what this root tells us. It means the number of consonants remain the same. So there are still 21. Out of how many? So out of basically 25. Okay? Because we picked one and we didn't replace it. So if you add these two, you are going to get a 1. Similarly here, if you add these two and that, you are going to get a 1. So that's the principle of probability. Then we go to um, this tree. Again, we could have picked a vowel as a number two, this number one is a consonant, then you could have picked also a consonant as a number two. So now if you picked a consonant on the first choice, it means the number of vowels remains unchanged, so there will still be five, so we're going to have a five cards that we can still pick as a vowel out of how many? Because we picked one and did not replace it, they are 25. Then if we picked a consonant at the first one, it means the consonants are less by one, it means they are now 20, because we picked the first one as a consonant. Then out of 25, because we can pick consonant from 20 possible cards out of the total 25 that are remaining because we took one out. So these are the possibilities that are there. Then uh, if you come here and look at the question, Loma numero 1, two are all vowels. So these only way that you can pick two to be vowels is if the first one was a vowel and the second one is a vowel. So we have probability that V1 is a vowel and V2 is a vowel, which is basically the same case as in, uh, basically the fact that we picked the first one to be a vowel, which is 5 out of 26, then multiply by um, 4 out of 25. Then we simplify this one. What we do is basically 5 into 5 is a 1, 5 into 25 is a 5. 5 like that, then we have 2 into 4 is 2, 2 into 26 is 13. Then if we multiply 1 times 2 is a 2, then 13 times 5 is basically 65. So 65 is what we end up. So we end up with basically 2 over 65 as the answer to Loma numero 1. Then we look at Loma numero 2, which is 1 as a vowel and the other a consonant. So then what would happen is it would end up with it basically the first case we picked a vowel, then the second one we pick a consonant. Or the first one we picked a basically a consonant, then we end up with a vowel as the second choice. So it's basically this root, then that, or this root, then that root. So basically in this case, if you call it to be probability to be y, it's going to be uh, 5 over 26, which is this one multiplied by that one, which is multiplied by 21 over 25. Then plus, we could have again 21 over 26 multiplied by 5 over 25. Then we notice that 5 into 5 is a 1, 5 into 25 is a 5. Then we end up with basically 1 times uh, 21, it will be 21 over 26 times 5, which is 130. Then plus, 
then 5 into 5 is a 1, then 5 here, then 1 there again, we are going to have 21 times 1, you see, 21 over basically 26 times 5, which is 130. Then when we add this, we are going to end up with 42 over 130, which when we simplify it, is going to give us basically a 21 over 65 as our answer. So basically, this is how you answer question 4b to get at the optimal max. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.